city of Cork is situated on the River Lee. The river enters the city from the west. In the western suburbs, the Lee divides in two and flows on to spread its arms around an ever-growing city. The poet Spencer wrote, a spreading Lee that like an island fair embraced Cork with his divided flood. Because of the divided river, Cork is a city of many bridges. There are bridges old and new, large and small. Until recently, an attraction in Cork was the train which held up traffic while it crossed its bridges and streets. The Lee flows on to form the harbour of Cork. Cork City, with a population in the region of 130,000 people, is a busy seaport, taking ships from many lands. Industries have been established around the harbour to avail of the port facilities. The City Corporation has been generous in its policy of landscaping. Approach roads and streets are tastefully decorated. The city centre is an area of spacious wide streets and large business premises. Further out from the city centre, streets are narrower and shops are smaller. Cork is a city of many solid stately old buildings. These are in sharp contrast with modern utility style structures. Down by the riverside, Fitzgerald's Park provides a pleasant amenity for young and old.
The city museum is located in the park and bears the city's coat of arms. Cork is also a city of many churches. There are churches of different denominations. And the clock tower of famous Shandon Steeple looks down on the city. Irishmen have a reputation for being great drinkers. This may or may not be true, but temptation does exist. There are many local authority housing estates in Cork. They incorporate smaller houses for old people. And they also include elaborate shopping centres. Private housing estates have their own distinctive styles. The city of Cork continues to expand. In 1973, work was commenced on the building of a regional general hospital. Now this modern 600 bed hospital is available to the people of Cork and surrounding region. When work on the hospital began, a regional technological college was already well underway. The college now caters for 1,000 full-time students and about 2,500 part-time students. Cork City has its air and sea links with Britain and with the mainland of Europe. Modern hotels cater for visitors to the city. It can truly be said that the sun has shone and continues to shine on the city of Cork.